Hey everybody, this is Daniel Garza, and this is day three of the uh, Cancer Journey 2015 video diary. Um, today has been, uh, I don't know, one of those weird days. I, I woke up and had breakfast uh, with my friend Joyce. Hi Joyce. Uh, thank you for taking me to breakfast. We went to one of my favorite places, the White House, here in Laguna Beach. If you have never been there, it's pretty kind of cool. Pretty inexpensive, but good breakfast, so check it out. Um, I, I woke up kind of lost. I, I, although I didn't really have anything planned today, like there was nothing on my schedule. Uh, I did have something that I was planned for this weekend, which got canceled. And then I was going to take some jobs and I decided not to, I wanted to just stay close to home. Um, but, uh, I'm, I'm feeling kind of lost. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm replaying in my head the doctor's visit on Tuesday and, and like, I don't know if this makes sense, but I'm trying to reword it. Like maybe I heard wrong and maybe, maybe he didn't actually say the word cancer. Um, maybe I made it up and maybe I was dreaming and maybe I, it's not, it didn't really happen. Uh, which obviously it, it did, but like I keep replaying the moment in my head and saying, maybe I made it, I'm making this up and I should stop telling people that, that cancer, and I don't want to call it anything other than what it is, it's cancer. Um, like maybe I should stop telling people because I'm just making this fool up. It's just me making stuff up. But I didn't, I didn't, it's, it's true, it's there. Um, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, I don't know if you know what this is, but uh, can you see it? The, Super bowel prep kit. Uh, they call it the super prep kit. Um, if you've never taken one of these, most sometimes you guys might see it um, in this big bottles. They, they look like big detergent bottles and you have to drink the whole thing. Well, this is a different one. It actually costs money. I, I paid 80, $89 for this stuff. Um, but it comes in two little bottles like this. It's two little bottles and they even give you... Um, a measuring cup, and I've, I've been holding it because, let me give you a little measuring cup, I've been holding on to it because I, I knew I was going to make a little video uh, to talk about it, and I was just going to show how or what, but anyway, so they, uh, my um, biopsy and the colonoscopy was going to be done on Monday uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning, so I had to be at the clinic, uh, at the outpatient clinic at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I had to take this, one of these bottles at two o'clock in the morning and another bottle the day before at five o'clock in the afternoon. So I, what does it taste like? It, it, to me, it tastes like if you've ever left Sprite open and it's just that thick syrup flavor and it's kind of nasty. But to me, that's what it tastes like. When you, when you pour it in here and it kind of goes up to about so far and then you have to fill up the rest with water and you just drink it and um uh so i drank the first one at five o'clock and nothing really happened I, I drank it it was over I, I went to bed watched tv it was all cool so then i had to take the second bottle at uh at two o'clock in the morning and that's when the devil came out this is evil in a box and i'm sure i'm not insulting the super bowel prep kick people when i say that i know you guys know that it's evil in a box. Uh, so I take the second one at two o'clock in the morning and I come and sit down and watch TV on my couch. And if you see behind me, that's the little hallway. So that way, like that, that way, that's the way to the bathroom. So I uh, I take it at two o'clock in the morning, about 2.30, it's go time. This is not a drill, go. Um, I felt as if Aliens, if you've, if you've seen the movie Aliens, I've only seen num number one and then <laughs> not number two. <laughs> uh, um, aliens and, and poltergeist all inside my tummy. And I felt like, like somebody was like rinsing out my intestines and just pulling out. My body was convulsing in ways that I don't think I've ever turned before. Um, so I am screaming and now 
Christian is in the bedroom right next to the bathroom. There's the wall. So here's the bathroom and here's the bedroom. He doesn't hear me. He doesn't hear anything that's going on. And I am in the bathroom pretty much from 2.30 in the morning to about 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, he doesn't wake up to about 4.30, 4.45 and finds me on the couch just twisting and turning. Now, my neighbor, whose wall I share from my bathroom, I think, to his kitchen, hears me because I think Christian told me that he stopped him in the hallway later that afternoon to ask him what was wrong with me. Well, uh, Scott, if you're listening to the watching this, this is this is what happened, the sure prep kit. Um, it is the most horrible, vile thing in the world. Um, it's it's a prescription only, so you can't buy it and pour it in anybody's drinks. But it is so disturbing. Now, mind you, remember, I can't really go to the bathroom. So I've got the pain of trying to go to the bathroom with the pain of having this massive diarrhea inserted into me. Um, I was sweating and crying and, and it was horrible. So finally at five o'clock in the morning, it just stops. It stops and I'm thinking, okay, well, it's done. So we go to get, uh, the stuff done. Unfortunately, it, it wasn't enough cleansing. It didn't clean me enough. So they couldn't do the colonoscopy. I know it was, it was, uh, tough shit in there. Ha <laughs> uh, be warned that there's probably going to be a lot of ass and shit. Uh, jokes along this video diary, so just be warned. Um, so they couldn't do it, but they did the biopsy, obviously, because we got the results. Well, I'll fill in the gaps on that later. We come home, and uh, I they gave me some Vicodin, so I'd go to sleep, and I fell asleep. I didn't wake up till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The first thing I ate was some Jello, and it seemed like that Jello triggered everything. Because I had to go to the bathroom massively again. So I spent another hour probably running to the bathroom. Um, need to say, three pairs of shorts, four pairs of bath uh, underwear, a bathroom mat, and a pair of socks later. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. At the last moment, the last time I had to really run to the bathroom, um, I'm sitting on my couch, and this is where I usually sit, this end on the couch. On the other end of the couch, I'm sitting there now because Christian I'm like, is going to eat. I'm like, do you want anything to eat? I'm like, no, don't. I don't want anything to eat. So as he's about to move over, I felt that I had to go to the bathroom. So I jump up. And I don't remember this, but according to Christian, my hands went everywhere. And I feel like probably I want to, like, balloons on the side of the road. And I knock over his sandwich. And I knock over the ginger ale that he had in his hand. And... He's trying to move me, and I don't remember most of this, but he says there was this loud gurgle moan that came out of my throat, like, <clears throat> yes, so I was pooping in my pants again, and he's trying to move me, and I don't want to move, but finally I run to the bathroom, and I, I the only thing I remember yelling is, oh, shit, yes, um, we ended up having to get the pens for me because I was so scared of pooping my pants that the next day I had a school presentation to go to out in Irvine and I was so scared that I would be in front of 250 students talking and now passing a little gas is kind of scary because you don't know, come on, you don't know, you pass a little gas and the surprise comes out. So I had to wear the pens to this presentation and we had to walk quite a bit. So it's kind of sweaty. This is not pretty, folks. This is not pretty. A 44-year-old man in diapers, pooping his pants. It was disgusting. I have to give Christian credit. He washed my clothes and the mat. And, um, but it was uh, because of this evil thing, sure prep, uh, which I'm, I'm sure it's supposed to do. It did its job, and that's why it was so horrible. So if you're going to be taking this, uh, be prepared. Some of the notes on Google and some of the sites say, uh, take a book, take your laptop, prep yourself in the bathroom because you'll be there for a good two hours, three hours, letting everything go. So that's the uh, video diary for today, guys. I will. Uh, I don't feel so lost anymore. I went to a me uh, one of my uh, committee meetings and that made me feel better. And uh, thank you, Shanti, for the cupcakes. And thank you, Ricardo, for the uh, juice boxes. So I'm going to eat my cupcake.
and enjoy and watch TV. I'll see you guys tomorrow.